Ha! The WEC lab, what do you call it, David? The WEC lab is this? Yeah, the WEC method lab. The WEC method lab. So check this out, okay? okay? This is really cool. You know the deadlift, right? Yeah. Where you go like this, yeah. one like that, one like that. You're gonna walk like this. You're gonna, underhand is on the side you're on, here, 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 here. And you see how this here resembles that coil? Yeah. And the, and the supination will help me bring it there. So all you're gonna do, yes, and yes, and yes, and boom. And boom, now just start to go a little faster and just walk around and then you can even get to a jog around where, nope, that's backside, okay. yeah. Yes, good. See how the head's over the foot? Now just jog, jog with it. That, don't think, pick it up and jog. Yeah, yeah, and then you get that pulse, 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 boom, boom, boom. And when you're, so when you're doing, when you're doing the jog then, are you, how are you sort of? This is a drill that takes the distal extremity and it produces a proximal coil. Right. If I'm neutral here, I'm neutral. Right. As soon as I do this, you've coiled proximal. Okay. Do you feel the difference there? Yeah. You yeah. see how these shoulders higher? Yeah. So now from here, go here, you feel that? Yeah. And then what we're doing in locomotion is it's not just side, it's a scoop and a scoop and a scoop because you're putting the motion in it. Right. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this is also giving you the concept that if I just get that little down, that's the vertical force. Okay. So now the, you see how vertical force, what happens is with the vertical, it creates a pulse. So it's, it's, not, a, it's not a push, it's a pulse. Okay. A, pu a push would be uh, stop. Okay. Uh, stop. It's a pull. They bounce. Yeah. So now, what I want you to do is, can I do the middle? Or? Yeah, yeah. All right. I want you to hold the middle with an okay, and your fingers, your pinky and your fingers are just underneath it. Okay. Okay. What's your favorite drink? Champagne. Champagne. <laughs> okay. So champagne, the blue caps, that's the champagne, okay. and I don't want you to spill the champagne. Okay. It's very expensive champagne, okay? <laughs> and you only have one bottle. So it's here like this. Now I want you to blade the elbows and hold it down by your belt. Blading the elbows is 180 degrees, okay? Uh -huh. From here, without spilling the drink, you're gonna bring it up, down, and bounce up. Down and bounce up, down and bounce up, and then we're gonna... Hit the middle, the middle, the middle, the middle. Good. Get the bead bouncing. Now let that go to the floor. Boom, 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 boom. It's like you're, it's like a dip. You're on top of it. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Yes. Good. You see how this jolt comes for free? <laughs> you feel it? <laughs> yes. Now what we're gonna do, if you don't think the body will sink. <laughs> so what it is, is it's, you're gonna get that going and you're not gonna think, you're just gonna put that okay. locomotion. Just jog. Don't think, don't think you're thinking. <laughs> you're opposite because you're thinking. Center, center, center. Yeah, you go, good, you got it. Now, don't think and just keep going. And don't turn around. Run in a figure eight so you don't have to stop. Good, yes, yes, good. Now, let the hands be free with the same pattern. Hit the hands down nice and hard and feel the ease to pop off the floor for free. Beautiful. Kind of fit it when you <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Now take them out. Just jog around and let the muscle memory do it. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> you feel as though you're kind of running with a swagger. <laughs> yes. There's a swag, but there's a pulse of power. Yeah. This is the way Deion Sanders, the Randy Moss, the best athletes use the connective tissue to recoil for free. Okay. So rather than like squeezing the muscles and push yeah. and push, it's bing, bing, bing. Right. See what I mean? So when, when, you, so when you say you're using the connective tissues then, so just, just explain that a little bit more then. Okay, so, so basically the connective tissue can be used to ricochet or recoil. Right. So to bring the pulser back to me, I can pull it back or I can ricochet it okay, back. Okay, right. See, bing. Just the natural bing. sort of hit. If you go out with a pulse, it, it's like the doctor, right? Bing. Okay. Bing. Like a, just a reflex. I didn't do it. Bing. Okay. The doctor did. Yeah, yeah. Right? right? So that's the principle of it. Okay. So you're using the sort of natural, I suppose, movement for it. So, so you, you, yes, I, I, I'm trying to think of something that's similar where you. Well, what it is is instead of the letter O, there's a Q. There's a line. You know this, the on button? You're punctuating the moment. Yeah, the, yeah. the foot is landing, loading, launching. Okay. So as it's landing, it's coming down. Right. At, at, at a millisecond before peak load, this comes in and spikes okay. the peak load to make the launch pop off with the connective tissue. So does that, so when we were talking before about efficiency, yes. is this where it's kind of taking down the energy to create yeah, taking down the effort to create this energy. Rather than fight against gravity, let's fight with gravity. Okay, right. All right? right? So if we fight with gravity, that's easier than that. Okay, yeah. So I invest in down yeah. to create the, okay. the jolt of force up. Okay, and yeah. if you look at Elliot Kipchoge, the world's greatest distance runner, okay. he has the world record in the marathon. If you watch his arms, it's almost like it's almost like they're hitting like cymbals. Right. You know what I mean? He's, he's doing this, right? So he's coming head over foot. So if I'm coming here, he's coming head over foot, and he has that little connective tissue pulse, right? right? He's not looking like this. Tell me if this looks natural. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I mean? Because again, if I'm straight in the middle, like a good little boy, then I'm not balanced. Okay. And if I just swing, I'm not spiking the ground force. Yeah. Usain Bolt does it with his elbow. Okay. The, uh, many, Justin Gatlin does it with the hand. So it doesn't matter how you do it, you just have to do it. You have to right. harness connective tissue. Yeah, yeah. Make sense? And you're harnessing the movement as well. Correct. Just while yes. you're there, it's yes. like, okay, I'm, yeah, okay. It's, it's more natural than not. Right. It's just we haven't been exposed to this information. Okay. So next we're gonna do a box jump. So now what we're gonna do is we did them unilaterally, like this. You see, uh, 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 you see that, you're spilling the drink? Oh, okay. Put it in the middle, hand in the middle of it, right there, and it comes up in the back. Yes, and if you ever get confused, you just go back to blade. All right, yeah. So that, so what I want you to feel like and sense is dip, tricep, press. Okay, all right. So ready, it's dip, tricep, dip, tricep, dip, let it bounce back up. Come back to blade, because you want it to bounce up. So now keep that pattern, don't change. Dip, bicep, dip, tricep, dip, tricep, dip, tricep. It's a dip, you're on top, and then a tricep extension. Let them bounce back up. Let them still bounce up. In the front, don't hold it down, let it bounce. There you go. Now what we're gonna do for the box jump is we're gonna do it bilaterally now. Okay. Weck method is side, side, center. Okay. All right? So on the box jump, here's how we're gonna do it. You're gonna get, instead of doing it alternating, you're gonna get them together. Don't spill the drink. And the, the key is this stage. Yes! Mm. Mm. That's your power forward. Boom, 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 boom. Let the transmit, let the transmission fluid to the floor. Boom, 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 boom. 
Excellent, boom, excellent. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna harness that, get it going, and then, Okay. See what I'm saying? So it's boom, I'm using that, 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 and boom. And so what I want you to do is this gets you off the ground faster. Okay. Okay? In jumping, where there's no time metric, what people will do is they'll do a big yeah. momentum. Yeah, yeah. What we're doing is we're saying we can create force that gets us very high faster. Okay. In a jump ball, it's not who jumps higher. No. It's who gets there faster. Yeah, yeah. Right. All right, so just on that box right there. I want that. Focus on, focus on that. It's a dip. Bring them up to the arm. There you go. Yes. Boom. Down. And when you're ready, turn to go. Good. Okay. And then come Sorry. back. Find the dip. All right. So don't think power on this one yet. This is easy to do power. Yeah. Everybody knows that because they already do that. Right. Right? It's this part. If you watch Usain Bolton slow, yeah. Okay. Yes. So a dip. Think of how strong you are when you're on top of a dip. Yeah. Like here, I can press my whole body. Here, I can't press my whole body. Right. So I want here, boom. Boom. And target your, yes. Boom. Boom. Boom, there it is, hit it. Don't straighten the elbow. Boom, there it is. Boom. Feel it. Excellent. Right, right, right. I want you to remember what we said in the podcast? Effortless power, then we add effort. Right. Effortless power, then we add the effort. Hit, hit, hit. And boom, boom. Ah, you see how, you see how that one you went yeah. and held it. Yeah, yeah. You got up. Okay. Yes. Boom. No, 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 hit, hit, don't hit back here. Hit right here. So okay. mm, that's going to bring me close. There it is. Boom. Oh. Bounce the beads. Mm. If it sounds right, it is right. That's what's really good. Yes. Mm. Mm. And when do you jump then? When You jump on now. Okay. And now. You boom! Yay! Okay. There it is. Right. Yeah. That was it. You feel what I'm talking? Yeah, that's why you think about it too much, and you. <laughs> if thinking is slow, and <laughs> and again, this is just. I mean, we've had them in the hands for five minutes, right? Now, now, now. Don't, don't, don't pulse back here. Yeah. You want the energy to put you forward. If I pulse back here to heel and midfoot, I won't be able to, to. I'll be able to deliver force, but I won't be able to receive the force because okay. I'm stuck on the heel. Yeah. But if I if I pulse like like I want to pulse right in front of the front pocket. Right. So it's boom, 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 boom. There it is. Boom, boom. Jump whenever you want. Hit it. I want the sound. Tip and tip. Now you want to try the 12 inch? Yeah. A little bit higher. Still, you're seeking effortless power. Use whatever you need to successfully do it, but really use the beat. Yeah. The beat. The beat. There. Yeah. Boom. Keep your elbows bent a little bit so we don't dissipate it to straight. Boom. And let it bounce up. Let it bounce up. Boom. There you go. How was that? I just need to stop thinking as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boom. And two. Two. Excellent. Hey, was that, that was that the time, yeah? That was on there. Okay. It might not have been your best one, but it was the timing and it was the direction. And I'm gonna make an adjustment in the way you're holding them. Okay. So right now you're holding here. Yeah. That requires tension. Okay. Put the, the pinky underneath it. Okay. And now hold it vertical and you can sort of hold it close to that notch and do that. So you feel how that is now cocked like yeah. you're gonna throw a dart? Yeah. That right there, now you don't have to hold this hard. You feel the difference? Yeah. Bounce it up. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Boom, boom, and boom. Excellent, wow. excellent. You're, you're talking about the side, side, center sort of principle, like how we educate the center. So you're yeah. learning the center, you kind of got to blow. Okay. 
what we do now is we teach the side. So you've probably seen maybe like a rotational box jump. Yeah. A lot of guys do them. They fly here and they land flat there. Okay. Right? Okay. What we do is we prioritize that coil or that seal I was about earlier. So we load to one side. So I feel that, right? I could essentially lift my leg. I load to that side. I use that side to lift and rotate to the opposite right. side. Okay. <laughs> And then it matches up. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. Right. And so we'll Yeah, and then that center, so then we feel that, we feel the other side. Okay. Then when we come back to the center, we kind of have like this openness to us. It creates more space. Yeah. I might increase my my vertical box shot. Yeah. Load, yeah. float, land. You see how he, he deadens yeah. the landing. Yeah. You take impact off the landing okay. by by that I'm hammer. Yeah, yeah. Something else that I've loved about this is that you sell on and off. And it also gives purpose to the top of the box shot. Yeah, yeah. The box shot has sort of got this like Dang, yeah, you just done. Yeah, like, yeah. No, you react. Okay. And like more complex things like parkour or something like that. It like, doesn't yeah, stop. Yeah. They react, they keep going, but when we're putting ourselves like in the gym environment, we lose that external task yeah, sometimes. Yeah. I'm like, what's the actual point of this? It's to take another jump, take another step. Right. We can create those instances, tools like that that actually give us a feedback like it's happening. Right. So, all right, okay. let's do it on this one. We're gonna do the side. So this here, it's almost like if I were 90 degrees like this, you see how if they come to a triangle here? Yeah. If I just turn it here, it's still the same angle, but now you're on the side. Right. You feel that? Yeah. So now I want you to just get the, it's jolt, 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 and jolt, very nice. Now, yes, now let's come on the other side. So you're here. And you're here, yep. And now let's get that. Boom, 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 boom. Good, now what we're gonna do is this. You're gonna go boom, boom, and you're gonna boom and land. And then you come here, you hit here. Don't hit this here. Box if you don't wanna try that. So it can be, it can be here and just turn on the ground. Okay. So if you're on that side, you're gonna turn You're to gonna him. turn to him and then do it on the other side. Boom, 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 and jump. And other side, other side. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. keep the beat on the so other side. Right. Will be perfect 90 here, okay. so perfect 90 here. So I'll jump. Yes, okay. yes. Right. Okay. So okay. you make that staccato. So I'll go here and then here. Yeah. Yes, right. yes, you got it. Uh, uh, uh. You jump before yeah. you had the beat. Okay. And it's jump, and it's jump, and it's jump, and it's jump, and it's there, hey. and it's jump, and it's jump, and it's jump, and it's jump, jump, boom, yes, boom, boom. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for coordination. <laughs> But I, I, yeah, I, I can get, like, he, he's, his movement's be, like a beautiful. Yeah. Um, but I guess getting into that, I can see how, you know, you can, you, you move just a lot nicer and. Uh, Easier. Yeah, yeah. By investing. Like, I'm very clunky, but he's just like smooth and smooth. Well, no, 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 because no, because no. Realistically, yeah. it all just starts with that little easy wall drill we did. Right. It's super accessible to everybody. Yeah. It's yeah. just establishing that feeling. Yeah. All I think about is that feeling. There's all this yeah. other stuff going on, but that's all that's on my mind. Yeah. And for somebody that's dedicating time to a movement practice, whatever that be, that's all you got to dedicate, yeah. and you're going to start experiencing what weapon it is. That that move, as simple yeah. as it was, is what gave me the 40 pound PR that made yeah. me be like, I want to come here and be your program director. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get this information. And to thank people, God he did. I didn't he... move like that. Three years ago. Right. You well, the, the other thing that's interesting, like, you know, you, a lot of, lot in here is very sports specific. There's also a lot of people like our age. Um, <laughs> and the thing is that you, you, when you get old, you move like an old person. 
Yeah, no, you, you, you move like a, like a, or that was, I, I, like, I appreciate the move because it's, it looked beautiful, if you know what yeah, I mean. Yes. But when you get Big old, cat. you start like moving really bad. Like he doesn't, he, he moves like a 20 year old. Well, that's true. Yeah. But I, I suppose you know, it's also like, why would, you, why, would, why would the average person on the street want to do this is what I'm kind of thinking. So they that's don't my... have back pain. Well, and also though, I think just like, like that, that sort of the physical movement, the visual part of what you're looking at. Yes. Obviously, there's a lot going on to create that, but but the fact that you're moving like a, a young teenager. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now here's what happens. Okay. We are the process. We are the product of the environment that surround us in large part. Most people walk sort of in this sort of position where if they can't remember the textbook said it's fall recover fall recover fall recover the older person who's been stuck in the middle as a young person now does this they widen okay so they widen and now i'm even more off balance and i'm scared so that if a problem happens I'm less capable. Right. So it has to be built on the foundation that I can stop the locomotive cycle and then pick it up and go. So let That's... me ask you this question then. So someone taking it to the opposite extreme, like yep. let's say someone 90s, like my, my great grandmother, she shares the walker. Can you... My Sorry. grandma's 100. Oh, wow. <laughs> I worked with her. And my grandma is in the middle of physical therapy right now. And one of the main things they do is we're gonna try to get you to stand on one leg. I see my grandma, I haven't seen her in a year and a half. I go see her and I, she's telling me about this and I said, all right, grandma, like, how's it going? She goes, oh, I can't hold it for more than that two seconds. And I said, okay, grandma, now stand here and do, and do this. Yeah. Pull your elbow to your hip. And she lifted up and she held it for 30 seconds right in front of me. And I said, grandma, don't go to physical therapy anymore. Because that's all they were doing for an hour. And at that age, time matters. And something that's valuable that gives me carryover matters. So just having a task for that sake and not giving them something yeah. that immediately got them to it. Like that was the goal of the session. I, mean, I, have it. I think that that, this now, is not for grandma. This yeah. is not for athletes. It's great that it works for yeah, athletes. Yeah. And we do show it in this exciting, full range and explosive way, but that's not what it is. This is also athletes, athletes are proof of concept and universality because I can take a slow, unathletic person don't eat three meals or eat less and do a set of jumping jacks and they're better. Right. An right. elite athlete is, you know, <laughs> the, the, to get the last tenth of a second is much harder than to get the first second. Right. Right? So another exercise that we can do is we can stabilize here, right? And to stand on the one leg, you can now hit the coil that lifts the hip and you can find that balance. Right. You see what I'm saying? And then you can wean this, you can wean that and the person can take as long as they want, but you're patterning this. Yeah. this. This is why it is actually so much more simple than it appears to be. So Chris just showed us, okay, if I'm good at that position, yeah. and I know how to control my whole body's balance from this quadrant, that's the lumbodorsal fascia. Right. That is the stuff that fundamentally connects everything. Right. Right? Everything's rooting back to that. And when I have that, okay, this is just a little idea of that. Just so a when you idea. so this this movement we did here then, is this something that before you work out or if you're doing if you like You wanna yeah, normalize it. You wanna normalize okay. it so that so that you can literally just be like, okay, I've got that, right? I've got that, I've got the tray, and now I feel like, oh yeah, I've got that there where I know that I have it, yeah. right? And it's normal. Yeah. And eventually, this is the boat that gets you across the river. Right. I don't need to do that. Okay. Because I know how to do it. You know how to get in right? that position. Let's give you an example, jujitsu, yeah. right? So I'm doing jujitsu and like, you know, oh, it's a real tough struggle for a moment. And like, I, I sort of strain right here. Yeah. So I come into the gym and that's feeling a little strained. It's like, okay, that, it's not right. So that's where you go, do the remedy, whatever the release work, that modality, and you get that fluid until it's like, okay, I'm big cat again. Yeah. You always want to get back to big cat. Right. And it's true balance. Balance is 100 or it's not balanced. It's either balanced yeah. or it's not balanced. So the not balanced is this big. The balance is that big. And you're either balanced or you're not balanced. Right. If, even if I do this, and I even do, that wasn't balanced. No. Because here I couldn't, you know, oh, I couldn't do anything. 
<laughs> During that moment, I was helpless. And, and the good thing is, is that every step is a wrap.